Good morning, everyone. So I picked up another house and it's going to be a, a rough one. Um, picked it up at the uh, real estate tax auction and here I am at site. Uh, I've been here a couple of times just doing walkthroughs, getting ideas sort of thing. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick video, quickish. It's a pretty big house um, and show you what we're getting ourselves involved in. So the house was originally, well, actually, I have no idea what the original um, orientations were inside the house, but um, someone had converted it into uh, four apartments at one point, and um, yeah, I can't say it was done all that well, um, but that doesn't matter because we're not doing apartments. Um, I'm thinking single family home. We've got a lot of carnage to clean out and get through. Uh, as a home inspector, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a scary gig. Um, the house certainly has its level of issues. Um, yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll go through all of that as we do the build. But right now, let's do the walkthrough. Someone had owned it a few years back and had the intention of overhauling it. Um, don't know what their plans were. I do know the, the code enforcement here wasn't exactly pleased with the plans that he had. But hopefully he'll be pleased with mine. And there's all kinds of just stuff. You know, the, the roof on the back side of the house here is completely shot. Um, we might even have to tear this whole addition off. But I don't know yet until I really rip into the structure of it all. It didn't look that great from the outside, I can tell you that. Uh, yeah. This is where the roof really got bad. And he had put tubs out here to collect water, but not sure. Um, yeah, there's no power here, so I sorry the lighting is gonna be really bad. Yeah, you can't see anything in there. That's a pretty big bathroom. Um, yeah. The layout on this thing is odd. So that was just the basement level. And there's this neat little shed back here. Someone had used it as a workshop, I'm guessing. Yeah. Well, it sounds like my dumpster just showed up. So I'm gonna cut the video short and uh, start back up once the dumpster's all set. Hey, we're back. The uh, container guy dropped off the container for me. Um, as you can see, there she is. And let's continue on with our our tour. There's the old bucket. That's what I call my truck. So, you see, here's the old permit from the last guy. And here's still debris. More and more debris. Uh... You know, the, the ceiling tiles are falling down. It's all falling apart. So the floor is flush right up against the bottom of that door. I mean, that's there's certainly an indication of something. Um, I'm guessing it's just multiple layers of material underneath here and it's warping and yada, yada, yada. Um, a little cove right there could be nice. Yeah, you know, a little kitchen that's going to get completely gutted out. Um, yeah, let's go this way first. Yeah, paneling, ceiling tiles, falling down, falling down. Real mess. These, 
I I really despise the style of ceiling, so chances are really good that I'm gonna sheetrock the whole thing. Um, haven't decided if I'm gonna get rid of all the paneling and sheetrock that. We'll see. Bathroom, more ceiling issues, of course. So, I don't like the layout at all of this space. Um, I don't like having the kitchen up front like this. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that all these walls are coming down on the inside as long as they're not load bearing, of course. And if they are, chances are I'll just post and beam it and open this thing up. So as you, I don't know if you can tell, there's a weird angled wall right there. Behind there is a whole lot of masonry. And I'm wondering if someone covered up a fireplace. But we'll see. So here's another kind of common space. So I'm thinking that wall there should be coming down. All of this is going to come down. There's another bathroom back in there that's just as rough and gross. Um, and a big laundry room. Good size laundry room. I think big laundry room, but good size. And yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that this should become a two bedroom up front around the side here with a, a Jack and Jill. And this last unit that we're going about to walk through will get converted into a master suite. If I can get the door open. There go. More stuff, stuff, stuff. And yeah, there's a, a fair bit of tooling that's been left behind, building materials, you know, as long as it didn't go bad, like some of the liquid nails and such doesn't exactly winter all that well. But yeah, see all the tools, little bedroom back here. Set of downhillers and another bathroom. So, thanks for going for a tour with me. Um, well, uh, first step is just fill that dumpster up as many times as I can, get a good idea what the place looks like, measure it all out, do an existing floor plan, and then start mocking up a, a new floor plan and then I can pull the permit. Um, so far the code enforcement guy here is uh, super flexible with me, um, allowing me to do the clean out first and get things rolling and then propose to him what I'm going to do. So, uh, I don't know if I'll be doing future videos or not, but um, thanks anyway and uh, we'll see you around.